Welcome back to Juro3 YouTube channel. In today's video, we're looking at um, what is the difference between the 1102 and the 1103 rotator. Since they all come in the same casing and all have the same motor and all have the same solenoid brake and the same gear chassis, uh, the real only difference is the very first three gears. Um, which just means they slow the rotation torque, uh, rotation speed down, which gives you a higher rotation torque. Um, so yeah, it, it's just basically that's the simplest thing. They don't mark them. Uh, the, well, I think the original one on the bottom of these plates, whoops, flared out. The original these plates were had a sticker on them, but that was in Japanese and you couldn't read it anyway. Um, but it was they tend to get paper just gets eaten away with just over time and you can't really tell what rotator you've actually physically got so when I do mine I normally mark them um, when I do my upgrades so basically the internal um, sub chassis and this is the same sub chassis for the 502 so the same sub chassis same motor um, for 502 1102 and 1103 so basically um, the final gear and that gear those two gears remain the same, or oh, this gear head does as well, but I didn't show you, uh, where are we? Um, this gear here is my new replacement gear because that's what happens to them. They are basically stuffed, um, the teeth are all bent and twisted, and, and you actually can see some of these are really bad hand behind there. Some of them are really, really bad. But um, that's why I put my new, my new hat, my new 3D printed um, stainless steel gear made up. But that's another story altogether. So basically, we're only really looking at the first three gears. So number one from the motor, number two, and number three in this drivetrain here. So basically, if I pick up an 110, okay, well first I will pick up a 502. A 502 is this one. So when we look at a 502, we'll change them around. 502 and we have the 1102 now the 1102 and 1103 both run a small pinion so they've already reduced the rotation time uh, and increased the rotation torque over a 502 so so basically put the 502 down here's out of the equation now so the 1102 and 1103 are have the same first drive gear in the drivetrain so that's those there the next gear in the drivetrain for the 1102 which I turn this over is gear number uh, M4247. Uh, so it meshes with that gear there. And this gear is bigger because it needs to be bigger to reach that gear. So basically, there we are. So if we look at the number two gear, that number two gear with the 1103. You can see that's a, four, a 247 and this is a 347 gear and if you look closely the center small gear is a different size and the pitch of the teeth are different so they won't mesh with this one here so they change the pitch so we'll put that one down for a second and we'll go back to the next gear in the drive train for the 1102 the center gear is the same size the, look at the gears here we'll turn them around the gears are a different size because it needs to reach the smaller gear and then it goes back to the original uh, gear pitch to mesh in I'll turn this around the right way so and these are common with the 502 as well so basically this is the active standard so this is back to 502 and uh, so yeah that's the three gears in the drivetrain for the 1102 so we have this one of the small pinion uh, smaller pitch gear and then we go back to the standard gear setting teeth settings we look at the 1103 small pinion small pinion and then back reverts back to the original uh, gear set so basically that's the main difference and the actual only difference between all these rotators so basically if you want to try and find out what you've got just look at the first three gears so you know that the, all the gears are interchangeable as long as you get the right gear sets so you know um you know, but you know the final drive gears these ones are the same in all of them um there was one version of this that was different that same time sometime popped up into 1102s it had one more gear in this pitch i believe it was 
and it looked more like the teeth of this where this is sort of more sharpened at the enders, edges I'll put them in front of the camera so they look more like that gear and but now they've, they've, this one they did I think they've changed it by one tooth um, I haven't seen very many of them but they are around um, and but sometimes I've seen these in 502s and 1103s and, and but they could be changed but these things have been around for years so people can change them and they all still fit because they, they uh, and you can use the same final drive gear regardless if you've got the one with one extra tooth in here or this one so so there you go so there's a bit of a quick run through of basically finding the differences between your 1102 or 1103 rotator. Okay, we shall catch you in the next one. Bye.